So let's talk about Kung Fu Panda 3, the final film in DreamWorks Animation's trilogy of Kung Fu Panda. Big days, entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to you as the Big D, so I'm going to be bringing you my final review of the Kung Fu Panda Trilogy with Kung Fu Panda 3 from 2016, released by Fox for DreamWorks Animation. Anyway... Yeah, uh, this was the only film in the franchise to be distributed by Fox after Paramount had already distributed the first two. Anyway, the film has the same voice acting cast back with Jack Black, Dustin Hoffman, Angelina Jolie, Seth Rogen, Lucy Liu, David Cross, and Jackie Chan. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, plus James Hong. Anyway. I hope you're ready for this one. Now this time around, Poe enters a village of pandas and reunites with his birth father. Who of course, we met, saw him in the end of the last film. But problems arise when a villainous spirit warrior named Kai returns to the moral realm and steals Chi from the Kung Fu Masters. With the goal of ending Uguay's legacy. So Pope forms an army of pandas to bow Kai's jade means and must become a master of Chi himself to defeat him. Now if you're ready, let's get into our story. In the spirit realm, Uguay fights against his former comrade, Kai, a spirit warrior yak who has defeated all the other Kung Fu masters in the realm and taken their chi. Ugwe gets trapped and his chi has been stolen. But not before he warns Kai that the Dragon Warrior will stop him. Kai takes this as a challenge to steal the Dragon Warrior's chi and returns to the moral realm. Meanwhile, Master Shifu announces his retirement from teaching and passes the role of teacher to the Dragon Warrior, Po, who realizes that teaching Kung Fu is not as easy as anticipated, and injures the Furious Five. Po is crushed because of his failure, but Shifu advises Po that instead of trying to be like him, he should try to be himself. So Po returns home, where he meets a panda, Li Shan, who they both realize is his long-lost biological father. They quickly bond with each other, much to the jealousy of Poe's adoptive father, Mr. Ping. After introducing Li to Shifu and his friends, Poe and the Five defend the Valley of Peace from Jade War Zombie War Zombies, well, Zombie War Zombies, that Kai has created using the Chi of past Kung Fu Masters. The team learns... Through research that Uguay and Kai were once brothers in arms and very close friends. After Uguay was injured in battle, Kai carried him to a village of pandas who healed him with their mastery of chi. The pandas then taught Uguay how to utilize it to help others. However, Kai wanted the power for himself and tried to steal the pandas' chi, forcing Uguay to banish him to the spirit realm by ending his life. In order to defeat Kai, Po must learn to master the use of Chi himself. Lee offers to teach him by taking him to his secret panda village. While Shifu and the Furious Five stay behind to deal with Kai, Po and Lee travel to the village with Mr. Ping stowing away and to try and drive a wedge between them. Although Po is eager to learn Chi, Lee tells him... He must first learn the relaxed life of a panda in the village. Kai takes the chi of every kung fu master in China, including Shifu and most of the Furious Five. Tigress manages to escape the subsequent destruction of the Jade Palace to warn Po and the other pandas that Kai is coming. Afraid, Lee and the pandas prepare to run away. When Po begs Lee to teach him the secret chi, the secret chi technique, Lee confesses that he lied about knowing it out of fear of losing him again. Heartbreaking and enraged, Poe walks away and isolates himself 
to train vigorously in preparation for fighting Kai. Mr. Pingu realizes Poe has become happier with Lee in his life, tells Lee that Poe being mad at him is part of being a parent, but that Poe will forgive him. Ping then tells him that Poe will need both of them in order to stop Kai. Lee goes back to Poe as and says the pandas will help him fight Kai and his army. Realizing what had previously made him fail as a teacher, Poe agrees and teaches them to use their everyday activities as kung fu skills. Now to the ending and final act. You know the procedure, like always. You have five seconds to stop this video. Go to the description box below and fast forward to the time below to avoid any spoilers. If you've seen the movie already, please continue on after the five seconds. Here we go. Okay, you've been warned. Kai arrives and sends his minions to capture Poe, who sets the pandas, ping, and tigress upon them, distracting Kai. They defeat the Jade Zombie Army, but when Poe tries to use his signature Wuxi Finger hold on Kai to send him back to the spirit realm, Kai reveals that the move only works on mortals, not a spirit warrior like himself. Kai then attacks Poe, who stays on the defensive until he gains the upper hand in their fight and uses the Wuxi finger hold on himself while gripping Kai around the neck, transporting them both to the spirit realm. They fight again, and Kai subdues Poe and begins to steal his chi. Using what they learned from Poe, his friends and family use their chi to empower him. Poe breaks free and harnesses their chi to create a giant dragon figure with which he quickly overpowers Kai. After taunting Kai, Poe Ding gives him the power which overwhelms him, destroying him and restoring all of the fallen masters and the five to normal. The rest of the Furious Five, anyway. In Ethereal Golden Pond, Ugwe appears to Poe and informs him that his journey as a, the Dragon Warrior has come full circle. Declaring Poe to be his successor, Poe chooses to return to the moral world, and he and his extended family all return to the valley where they continue practicing Kung Fu and Chi. End of story, my friends. So what did I think of Kung Fu Panda 3? Well, I have seen it a few times, a little more than the last one, but I will say that I really did like this movie. Now, aside from Jack Black and Returning as Poe, plus Dustin Hoffman as Shifu, Angelina Jolie as Tigress, Seth Rogen as Mantis, Lucy Lewis Viper, Jackie Chan as Monkey, David Cross as Crane, and James Hong as Mr. Ping, plus Randall Duke Kim returns as Uguay. We got some few new voices and what have you. Oh wait, oh I almost forgot them. Um, Jean-Claude Van Damme returns as Master Krupp. Let's see. Yes. Okay. We have some additional voiceovers. Brian Cranston voices Lee Shan. Now, Fred Tassior, I can't really pronounce that name, voiced Lee Shan in the end to Kung Fu Panda 2. And he goes on to voice the Master Bear in this film. And he voices Shifu in the Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesomeness animated series. Voicing Kai is J.K. Simmons. Of course, you know him best from the Spider-Man franchise. It's J. Jonah Jameson. And of course, he's been in lots of other things. We have K. Hudson as Mei Mei, which that was really cool. So anyway, with a pretty good cast and what have you, that even includes Angela Jolie's youngsters as well uh, most of them ain't well let's see four of them uh, Lennon voice their voices as some of the panda kids from the looks of it at least i think it is yeah i'm pretty sure it is but anyway this makes this a fun-filled film now the film was Directed by Jennifer Yud Nelson, who recently directed the last movie, with a little help from Alessandro Carloni. We have Hans Zimmer returning to do the score by himself, so that was really cool too. Anyway, 
I gotta say, this film did pretty well. And the film went on to make $521 million worldwide. It all been up just after my 36th birthday. I unfortunately didn't get to go see it, though. Considering I had went and saw another certain bear movie that came out um, the same month, as a matter of fact. And that being Paddington. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's why I went and saw that, I think. Or no, wait a minute. No, I think it was the year before. Oops, my mistake. No, wait, Panda came out a year before this. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> oh, the years go by like crazy. You know what I'm saying, folks? So sorry. But anyway, Kung Fu Panda with all sorts of fun YV and more pandas in YV. I love the train sequences. This film's got, got a lot of heart in it. And... Uh, Animation, visuals, humor, and all that jazz, excellent. So would I recommend Kung Fu Panda 3? You better believe it. Yes. If, you, if you're if you completionist or if you're just into DreamWorks animation, then you got to give this one a go too. I mean, this couldn't be complete without this. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda 3, it's a blast. I really did enjoy this. Again, I need to revisit these film, this and its predecessor someday. And what have you. So, oh, uh, and sorry I forgot to mention if you are about not, well, about the playlist I was going, I had just done. Sorry, uh, that just in case you haven't seen the rest. So, my apologies, I didn't bring that up. I just wanted to get this done because I'm on a real tight schedule for next month, unfortunately. But anyway. What are your thoughts on Kung Fu Panda 3? Please tell me in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to my channel as well and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you a re my next schedule, my April Fool's Month schedule. First thing in the morning on April Fool's Day itself. Anyway, which, like I said, I was, it's going to be a tight schedule for me, so bear with me if I do a vid or two every, almost every day, but not every day this m next month, all right? Thanks. Anyway, if you like this, you might want to check out these other three quills that I've done. The upper left-hand corner is my review of another DreamWorks three quill, that being Shrek the Third from 2007. The upper right-hand corner is my review of D3, The Mighty Ducks from 1996, the final installment of the Mighty Ducks trilogy. Or if you'd like, go to the bottom left-hand corner and see my recent review of Spy Kids which recently turned 20. And that reminds me, the Kung Fu Panda 3 just turned 5 years old this year. <laughs> anyway, and the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.